Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play the Binding of Isaac collection series again. This collection series currently has one thing to collect, so hopefully I can manage to do that within like the next episode or two because I would really like to actually have Platinum God finally. Forgot how hard it can be to actually collect that very, very last item. So of course I'm going to be using Isaac because it is important to use Isaac in order to, you know, maximize reroll potential and blah, 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 blah. Have a bomb already, don't have any keys, which is a bit of a problem because I wasn't expecting to start out on an XL floor. And since this is the seller XL, I am actually more likely than I would immediately like to admit to act, to be, to um, not be able to unlock, no, to take damage and not get a deal with the devil. So I, I need to accrue my advantages. The speed upgrade is kind of nice though. Although with my weird latency issue that I've been having recently, in the Binding of Isaac, it is maybe not the absolute best thing. And to be honest, I should maybe be skipping some of these rooms if I can, just so I can get to the item rooms faster. Oh, here's the boss rooms. That's not a bad thing. Although this is... Um, oh, shit. Kind of exactly what I expected to go down there. Which is too bad. I was hoping that I would not get hit on this room so that I could not get hit on both the boss rooms so that I could maybe get a deal with the devil along with two health upgrades. But as the game always teaches you, you cannot always get what you want. But right here, I could reroll the cube of meat in order to um, get an HP upgrade or anything else. And I think I will do that. Usually I like a single cube of meat, but not this early in the game. And I would really like the chance to get something resembling a damage upgrade. I actually forgot how to fight Famine, which is kind of embarrassing. Since fighting Famine is one of the first patterns you ever memorize in the goddamn game. Well, I guess it isn't really, because you actually have to unlock the Horseman of the Apocalypse. The Horsewoman of the Apocalypse. It could be a woman. It doesn't really have any um, sexual dimorphism that I can see. Any signs of sexual dimorphism? I, I don't know. Any... What would you call a female or male-only trait? Because it isn't really sexual dimorphism, because that's the difference between males and females, or the difference is. Hmm. I can't think right now. I Because you can't see any masculine or feminine. Meat is really good. That is a bit of a damage upgrade, and also a HP upgrade. So I can move right on to the second boss now. I probably should have gained a reroll first. Just so I could, if there is a deal with the devil, you know, re-roll it and get something good. I think I will be playing hard for Guppy if I have the chance this time. So if I see a 9 lives or anything along those lines, I will probably take it as soon as possible. Or immediately, I, I guess I should say. I will take advantage of 9 lives if I see it. And also I'll be willing to spend quite a bit on, like, Guppy's head. Guppy's tail. Guppy's asshole. Probably won't be spending on Guppy. Well, if I, if I saw an item called Guppy's Asshole, I'd be like, wow, I never even knew this item existed, and I'd probably spend on it. If it was like six hearts, and it would kill me instantly, I would definitely spend on that. Either way, though, time for me to kill Pin. I get an HP upgrade. Unfortunately, no deal with the devil, so I guess all my dithering was for naught. But time to carry on. My way, what's on? I could really use a drink of water right now, but I always wait, or I should probably wait until the transition between floors. Again, with the with the concept in mind of me playing really, really hard for Guppy, I want to be gathering and hoarding bombs so I can eventually, you know, farm a boss. I, I find that it, usually if you're going for Guppy, Guppy's nine lives will eventually come up. It's one of those items that if you play at least decently, you have a fair chance of encountering once, especially with the D6. Let's um, put, throw a couple of shots sideways into there. He can actually escape from this if he tries hard enough. And I can actually shoot a tear or two through this if I try hard enough. What if I... I hate doing this. There we go. Managed to get through. There's the shop. Unfortunately, still no keys. And even if I had keys, I currently don't have enough money to visit the shop. And the amount of lack of keys. I find your lack of pants disturbing. Your lack of keys disturbing? Pant keys? I used to be a pant key. Panko. Pank, panko panky? I don't know what I'm talking about. 
more hearts, a blood bank would definitely be in order here. If, or using a blood bank would definitely be in order if there was one. Because I'm pretty sure with the amount of hearts on the screen, I could probably play it successfully at the moment. Could also search for the secret room, but that is always a dubious prospect on an XL floor, so not going to be doing that. Um, apparently both the item rooms are over in this direction. I do have a key now. When did I pick that up? Need to destroy that fire. The fires are dangerous. They need to be, they must be destroyed at all costs. Did, didn't your mother ever teach you anything about fires? Personally, I had a rhinoceros as a mother. mother. You know, my uh, mom actually believed that thing from The Gods Must Be pr Crazy, where rhinoceros just go around the forest putting out fires all the time. She, she believed it for years, until somebody told her that, no, that is absolutely not the goddamn case. Which, if you believe that after watching The Gods Must Be Crazy, you're not stupid, you're just misinformed. Rhinoceri rhinoceroses? Rhinoceri? Rhinoceros? Rhinopluses? Do not do that. Rhinopluses? Yes, I know I did just do the, what's it called, version of it. Um, piercing shots, my god. For some reason, I always end up getting, like, the one defining aspect of a run NL does the same day he does. So that's kind of awesome. Um, piercing shots, one of the best items in the game, causes um, pass-through damage on every single one of your shots, and doesn't diminish over time, so it's not like Polyphemus. I had actually put it above Polyphemus in terms of how good it is. I have nine cents, it might actually be worth looking for the secret room at this point, or bombing my way to some more pennies. It's a long way to the bomb if you want to bomb a troll. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I have piercing shots. I couldn't tell if I was hitting or not, and I'm like I'm panicking a tiny bit. Whoa. Gotta watch those gushers. They can be dangerous at times. Unfortunately, no extra room for me. That is quite disappointing because I really, really would have liked to um Well, to to have the amount of money I need in order to Whoa, Bob's rotten head. That's kind of unexpected. I guess I'll just get rid of it. Um, I very, very unfortunately took all the wrong directions just to begin with here. Hopefully I will do better on the next floor, and hopefully I will not be another XL because I cannot deal with more objective negatives on this run so early on, especially since I'm planning on like going hard for Guppy and hurry, hurry hard, hurry, hurry. You know, because curling. Apparently Canadians love curling. I, I never knew that myself. But... It's apparently something we do really well in, in the Olympics. Whoa! My god. It's a mirage. I'm telling all y'all it's sabotage. Tuka 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 da da or something like that. Extra half heart there. Fortunately, piercing shots really does help with double flies quite a bit. Although, they still do kind of surround you more than you would normally like. There's a curse room. I would like to go in there, but I really can't afford it at this moment. I probably should have taken more shots. Oh, fuck. Get away from me. Uh, there was likely a way I could have gotten out of there without taking damage, but I did not know it at the time, and I didn't react fast enough. There you go. Just fire as many shots as I can right in here. Pierce as many people. Pierce all the sexy assholes. Um, which is a quote from a song, kind of, but ended up a lot more sexual than I had initially anticipated. Well, the original quote is, fuck all the sexy people, so I'm not sure how much more sexual that can be. Other than pierce all the sexy assholes, which, in its own way, is more sexual. I shouldn't be getting to deal with the devil here, because I have very much not earned it. I got hit three times on a fistula fight, which I am really not proud of. To be fair though, other than the piercing shot, I really have not gotten anything that increases my damage. Actually, now that I mentioned piercing shot being better than a polyphemus, I could really use a polyphemus. And, um, or, or squeezy. Tears upgrade will also do the trick. Two spirit hearts will probably defend me for next floor. I should have waited until after this floor was up to take those. Oh well. Showel. Showel? Showel? I don't know. I forgot to take a drink between floors. Something I do quite a bit. What's in here? Two pills. Balls of steel. Lovely. And a speed upgrade. So I can now afford to take lard and some other speed downgrade items. You know, if what's it called shows up. 
You know what it's called, right, guys? The Rock. The Small Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I can't believe The Rock's name is Dwayne. It's very strange. You know, I will actually take the Celtic Cross. It helps you a lot in playing Blood Banks. And if they, if enough blood banks spawn, it really, really does contribute to your overall chance of victory. Also, it can just overall contribute naturally to your chance of victory because it's a good item. It's a good item. Just gotta kill this fucker, then this fucker. Unfortunately, this fucker is a champion and is taking a metric fuck ton of shots. Imperial fuck ton, an imperial metric fuck ton. Just pop up. There we go. Hermit card will take me straight to the shop. I don't have enough money currently, though. But I could save a key if I do get enough money. So I should maybe search for the secret room. Yeah, I, th I think that's probably my best option. Don't need any more rerolls because I have nothing to reroll. So there's a down there. There's no down there. There's an up to the left. And there's another up to the left. And the secret room is not adjacent to that to that um, self-sacrifice room. So that's all I need to know. And I got enough money. And it is time for me to teleport to the secret room. Or to the item room. Alright. Blue candle. I don't want it. But I will pick it up in order to get it out of the pool. Um, Mum's purse I will definitely take. Although I, I'm not a huge fan of leaving with just that. I guess I might as well take another key as well. That does decrease my total chances to get a deal with the devil. I mean, not a deal with the devil, an arcade on the next floor. And as I mentioned before, I could quite use an arcade because now that I have Celtic Cross, my chances of victory on an arcade are actually quite high. Why? My chances of victory on an arcade are quite gone gin. Because he's drinking too much gin. So I'm on the caves too. Um, this room should be super goddamn easy. Lovely. Extra penny. It's like sexy questions, but with more pennies. Heard that there's a fairly good arcade of, for all those pennies. Never seen it myself. Most arcades that I've ever been to are like, hey, $2 a game, $3 a game. Fuck you, kids. You can't afford arcades anymore. Yeah. That's how shit goes down, really. Now, what I could really use is finding um, an item room. The shop is nice, and I may actually go in heavy on the shop just because the chances of me getting 50 cent, 15 cents are pretty high and um, especially now that I fought greed I am well I'm not sure what I was going to say about fighting greed I'm, I'm not very pleased about it to be honest with you I was trying to look on the bright side of life but there is no bright side of life here I got hit twice fortunately there is no regular heart damage just spirit heart damage I guess that's a bright side I was once told that I'm Mr. Brightside, but I don't think that can be at all accurate because I'm kind of a fucking crotchety old wanker. Wanker's such a fun word. Such a fun word. Let's go down. There is nothing down here, so I took the absolute worst path for D's sake. It makes me wish I had gotten the map on the previous floor. But, you know, I always kind of wish I'd gotten the map or the compass. Two of the best items in the game, especially from shops. And let us leave. Let us have lettuce. Let us let us. Lettuce and chives. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just naming shit now. You got a problem? There we go. Again, flies are so easy with piercing shots. Although, I could still really use a damage upgrade. What's this? Range upgrade. Lovely. Didn't I get a range downgrade already? Or was that some other run? Probably some other run. Fortunately, this guy's hanging out in the corner with the TNT. Might as well blow these up. There's always an off chance that they will reveal a secret room. And then... Uh-oh. I hate this room. And I took damage from a goddamn silkworm. Kind of embarrassing. These guys are coming up to my corner. Please blow up. Nope, they're not blowing up. Can't blow up, can't blow up to the place they once belonged. Finally, one of them's dead. Or one group of them's dead. I, I kind of had them grouped into two groups, which is why I said one there. Instead of two. Just so you know I'm true, or something. 
So great thing about piercing shots plus chub is that the piercing shots go through and hit all of his segments at once. I almost got st stuck in the door there, which really sucked, which would have really sucked because I would have gotten hit. Never hug the wall on the door side of a boss fight because you can just get really stuck in those. Fortunately, this is not one of the chubs that actually increases speed over time. Did quite a bit of damage there, managed to kill it. Please deal with the devil, deal with the devil, deal with the... Yeah! And I'm not going to be re-rolling re dog food anyway, so I might as well take that. And then I get 25 cents and the mark. I think that's a re-roll and a re-roll. Going to take this to get it out of the pool. Going to pick this up again, and then I'm going to take nine lives. And yes, I did take that entirely to get closer to Guppy and to item farm. I realize I just lost a lot of health. And I'm going to need more bombs before I can make up for it. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of alright with that. Maybe I can go buy some bombs in secret rooms. I can open more chests. I, I can kind of focus down the bombs. All I need is nine of them. And remember, if I'm farming bosses, any items that are passives that are not HP upgrades, I can take right away, and that will allow me to um, get all of the health upgrades later. I'm not even sure what I'm talking about right now. I probably just made a really bad decision. I'm trying to cover it up by claiming that it was my plan all the time, which it was, but it doesn't make it a good plan. There we go, managed to get some permanent Polaroid invincibility there. I have one one heart total, so this is this um, boss trap room is definitely a plausibility. Although, if it is a health upgrade, I will probably not be taking it and re-rolling it instead. This is a bomb, one bomb for a bomb. ba bomb, ba bomb chicka chicka something like that. I'm gonna hope that this is an item I actually want in here. Let me see. The bean! Definitely not an item that I want. Um, what, what can I do about this? Okay, first things first, I'm going to check to see if the deal with the devil room is still open over here. Because if it is, that means I can get a free deal with the devil item, or one that I've already paid for, but I can pick up, I can re-roll and pick it up. One more time. One time for your mind. Okay, no deal with the devil. The chances of it respawning are still kind of a mystery to me on how that works. Um, if I re-roll, hmm. I think I may actually want to take the HP upgrade and re-roll the bean. I get Sacrificial Dagger. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to try to actively use Sacrificial Dagger, but if it ends up actively using itself, that is no bad thing. So let's take this. At least it will give me a higher chance of winning if I find a Blood Bank. Because I'll actually have plays on it as opposed to just not. But unfortunately, I seem to have lost my only goddamn fucking spirit heart. I, I was kind of depending on those in order to protect me from this darkness I've become. Or something like that. I don't know. Do, I, do you think I know my evanescence? I don't fucking know my evanescence. If I took an evanescence quiz, I would probably only get 98%. I, 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 that, that's a lie. That is a lie. That's how much I got on my chemistry. Ow, I can't believe I just did that. Oh well, plenty of hearts on this room, on this floor. I'm not too concerned about it. Used my second key on quite a bit of bullshit. Um, not a big fan of that. No extra drops there? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Could really use some flying so I could get that bomb. I heard that bombs are actually kind of key. Hopefully this guy drops a bomb. This would actually be the ideal floor for me to boss farm because this is a floor where I could get, um, where I, I could viably Viacom. Viably Viacom. I could just Viacom in general. So I did get another reroll. Maybe I did, I did bad in terms of choosing my reroll targets there. It is quite possible. But I think what I'm going to do is unlock that golden chest, hope for some more bombs in it, and then item farm whether or not. Hmm. Maybe I'll get an easy enough boss next floor. I find the womb boss often also good for farming. I don't know. I'm already on caves too. It might have been a bit late for me to take a, take a nine lives.
I can get four I can get three more bosses. Nah. Can't do it. Can't do it, man. Take this heart and go down to the next floor, I guess. Take this heart and break it. Anyways. Going to be moving on. Um I'm in the depths, so that is much better than being in the necropolis, but still kind of a pain in the dick, especially considering I already took some damage. Fortunately, the invincibility from the, from the, what's it called, lasts quite a while, so that's always good. And I'm on XL, so no deal with the devil, no anything, really. Um, no advantages, I'm just taking damage left, right, and center, left, center, and right, left, right, center, center, right, down, A, B, A, B, left, right, I'm not even sure. I am not a fan of what is going on. I just kind of gave up hope for two rooms and took all the damage. As you can see, I did not even fucking dodge there. I'm at half a heart. Justice card. Well, I'm, I'm going to be, no matter what, farming this boss because I have no choice. It is Monstro 2. I could not be asking for a better boss to farm. At least. Well, it probably could be, but I'm not going to ask for a better boss to farm because I'm not an ingrate like you assholes. If I can offensively use the um, the sacrificial dagger, I will. But the odds of that are kind of bad because you have to get really, really close. And I'd rather not take damage touching Monster 2, which I, I think is a full heart of damage. I, I say that, then I immediately do like 90% of my damage with sacrificial dagger. So let's bomb myself once. That that specific life of nine lives was a complete wash. What? I'm fighting mum. The dumb, uh, yeah. Do I just fight one fly over and over again? <laughs> oh! This, this is incredible. This is like the best thing I've ever seen. Like, are you even fucking kidding me with this single fly? Wow. Just fucking wow. This, this is the best way to farm for lies. I'll pick up Jesus Juice right away because it is a passive, and then I'll move on and try to get some more um, some more bombs in order to kill myself more often. I, I have a good fire right now because I picked up the coat hanger. Unfortunately, very little in terms of actual damage still, but that's all right. I get an extra bomb, might as well use that right away. The faster I can use my bombs, the better. Or I can use my lives, I guess. Come back down here, fight one fly again. I'm definitely going to be remembering this for the future. So this is a shot speed upgrade, unfortunately, but also a tarot card. Maybe the tarot card will give me more bombs. Instead, it just give me, gives me the lovers. That's all right. At least it's out of the item pool now. And I should still have three more farms left on that. I'm considering using a key to get that, but I will consider it more later. After my, all my hosens are done. So soon this room is going to become a bit of a clusterfuck because I can kill multiples of these fuckers at once. And I really want to not do that if possible. There we go. I was fairly good at killing them one at a time there. I do get an extra key that makes that golden chest all the more tempting. These guys can fuck off. I almost took damage there. That was actually a very risky way to go about that whole situation. It might even be a risque way of going about that situation. Let's go ahead and kill... Ah, really? I don't have enough damage even for that? I do have a half heart on the screen. So I'm going to actually go back for that. Because I do not want to die out of, like, my own stupidity. I don't want to... I don't want my stupidity to be... To be, to be the death of me. That is a tarot card. Like I said, I need that heart. I think I am going to open that golden chest just in the hopes of getting more bombs. Well, there's one bomb. And a heart. 
and a Roxy Heart. So that will immediately allow me to go back to know who I really am. To blow myself up. And to fight one more fly in order to gain one more item. I had no idea. Pills? My pills so far have been pretty good. I'm actually going to pick up this pill for this coin purse. Balls of steel, one of them. Two mystery pills. Bombs are key pills. Okay, well, at least I get an extra bomb here. What's, what's this pill again? That's another mystery pill. That's bad gas. Okay, so now whether I get a bomb or a key... Oh, I used balls of steel. Fuck. Okay. Well, at least that keeps me alive a bit longer, and I do have a bombs or key pill there. Which means I can pretty much finish off this floor before doing any anything else over there. Fortunately, now I have a very good fire rate. I still don't have any good damage, but with piercing shots, I don't have knockback, so I can very easily predict the movement of my enemies. And, oh, Jesus. There we go. Another lover's card. I'm just kind of getting sick of the lover's. I guess I probably could have kept those for later on. There is a Tinted Rock. If I get Spirit Hearts from it, I'm going to want to save them for the end of the floor anyways. And not to mention, I'm going to want to be using my bombs for other things. Newer and better things. Better and newer and better newer. Veterinary things. Veterinary clinics. Whoa. One extra bomb there. Could use that to fight the boss right away. And I think I will. Wait, I have to take a full damage before I fight that boss. The boss. So let's see if I can take an easy damage here. I want to kill everything on the floor other than one enemy before I actually take any damage. Wait. Okay, there we go. And I get three bombs, which does take me up to the amount that I need in order to get that tinted rock and use the rest of my nine lives. Excellent. And I've, I've gone through so many boss items, I might actually get the pentagram here, which would be nice. It would be nice. And I can't even get a... I can't even accidentally leave this floor, so... This is a really good situation. I'll probably try to name this run The Fly if I remember, because this is fucking ridiculous. Even if I don't win at this point... It was just good learning experience. A really good learning experience. I may actually want to re-roll all of this, because now the pageant boy is here. I'll consider it after I kill myself one more time. See what else is available. Not that it will actually change anything because I will be fighting the same thing and I'll be able to pick up the top item, which is the pentagram. All right. And I'm going to reroll the rest. I get the box. Another bombs or key pill, which is pretty much useless. That was probably a really bad choice. Super band aid. All right. Okay, so I, I, I'm pretty low on health. I gotta say. Pretty damn low on health. But, other than that, I'm doing fairly well for myself. I have piercing shots. I have, um, th just good things abound. Put it that way. I get a chest there, which kind of pisses me off, but I'm all right. High Priestess is, of course, the card that makes your foot stomp down, I'm pretty sure. I, I am not entirely sure about that, but really, I, I didn't trigger any of them with that shit. Fine. Goddamn assholes. Dodge all the way. I can predict these guys perfectly unless they do that type of bullshit and, you know, just completely break their normal pattern. I'm gonna have to be moving around pretty constantly here in order to dodge this fucking matrix of bullets and manage that fairly well. That's probably my least favorite room on the depths. Just really don't like it. Maybe, maybe there are worse, but as far as I am currently aware, no. I'll leave those three rooms because I'm pretty sure they will lead me to nothing and I can use them for extra rerolls later. I do like the fact that I finally have red tears. <clears throat> that is always good. And I do keep forgetting to have myself a drink of water. Have yourself a very drink of water. That doesn't even make sense. Kill this fucker with your tears of blood, you ass. Okay. So I managed to kill these guys in only two hits. <clears throat> that is pretty good so far. I am fine with it anyways. Big fan. Getting lots of keys. Could be using bombs or keys if I still needed to farm bosses. Probably should have actually taken all the health upgrades and dealt with the goddamn pageant boy, but... Oh well. Things go wrong sometimes. 
And I'm, I'm still very, very surprised. I have not come across one, one room of note. Not even a single room of note. Uh, by room of note, of course, I mean shop, item room, um, library, be lying berry. Uh, rooms that are in themselves single berries that tell lies. Kind of, kind of ridiculously uncommon. You must admit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, if, if there was another contender for a least favorite room layout, this would probably have to be it. Just, just not very fun. Not very fun. And it gives me not even a bomb. Because fuck you, apparently, room. This is fairly easy. Instantly kill that, get one more cent. God damn. Oh, I've gone in the perfectly wrong directions in order to make this floor work. I don't like that at all. There we go. Extra key in case I want it or need it. Um, arcade, which I'm going to play the hell out of just because there's tons and tons of health on this floor. Guess I probably should have saved those lever cards instead of getting really annoyed with them. What's in here? Sack of pennies. Fuck you. Um, Demon baby. Yes. I'll definitely be taking Demon baby. Lots of good things to play here. I will only play down to 15 cents, and then I'm going to start actually um, playing the blood bank. Remember, I do have Mum's purse. So I can carry two trinkets at a time if this fucker will ever pay out. Unfortunately, not yet. We'll be playing some of this, though, in order to get some extra money. Hopefully, also some invincibility. Nope, not yet. But I do get an extra spirit heart and an extra half heart. Damn. Nothing yet. Because when you lose the one you love, there's always plenty more. I've heard that all the boys are monsters and all the girls are whores. And also the opposite of that, because that's the next line. Extra heart, extra key, extra bomb. Lovely. Probably play this. I really want, want an extra trinket, but they're just not giving it to me. Baby, uh-huh, uh-huh. They are just not giving it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I heard that all the girls say pretty fly for a white guy? Yeah, seems 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 more likely than not. Hmm. Do I have my webcam flipped right now for some reason? That seems very strange to me. No, I don't have it flipped, which is why it seems strange to me. You're just looking at my recording screen down there, being like, "What the fuck's going on with that shit?" I don't even know. These are all full hearts. I'm going to go ahead and bounce my way all the way back. Can't actually fill up on full hearts, ladies. I guess. Uh, actually, when I when I say ladies there, it's just a plea for help. I just need help. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going senile. And I think I might also be turning Japanese. I think I'm turning... Oh, good. Some invincibility. This will at least allow me to get tons and tons of money here. Oh, at the very least, I'll get tons and tons of money. Because, <sighs> you know, fucking anything else would be a fucking tragedy. Now, if you could pay it with a single trinket, I, I would be very happy. If you could pay it with a luck toe, I would be even happier because that would increase my luck and allow me to get more wins on this area. Uh, that that uh, That is a trinket. That is not exactly what I was thinking. Fortunately, two more hearts here and a judgment. I'm just going to place the judgment down right here get a tiny bit more money, or quite a bit more money since it paid out with the nickel. And, um, then just keep playing everything and anything. Keep on playing and enjoy yourself, because it's cool to cause a cozy condition. Because that's what we create, and that be our mission. From what I have heard, this kind of shit, it happens every day? Oh, uh, there we go. He paid out with a pickaxe, which I'm definitely, definitely going to re-roll. Does this count as, like, the shop item pool? Weird that the pickaxe would show up here. Maybe I can use it to get my way to an item. This is a hermit card, which I will also use right away, I think. Yeah, that seems ideal. It is another greed. Fuck you, greed. Nobody even likes you. Well, some people kind of like you. Well, a lot of people do like you as in the emotion of greed. They, they enjoy feeling greed and... You know, being greedy. 
And you know, being greedy can be fun. I'm not gonna fault anyone for it, even though it is considered a deadly sin by the Bible and usually a negative. Some people are just greedy, and you know, it's it's not a bad move in life. It's just not the greatest moral move, you know. You know how it is. You guys know how it is with greed and shit, right? Right, guys? Right. So I do have quite a few more rooms here. I should be able to get another reroll before the item room. What's in, what's in this? A troll bomb! Okay. Good thing I let that go off before I left the room. Could use the pickaxe to destroy that rock to get one bomb. To be honest, it is not really worth my while. Instead, I am going to use my reroll. Well, first of all, time for me to play these guys more. And maybe get some more hearts, maybe get a second reroll pedestal on this floor. The um, invincibility from what's it called is really helping me out here. I was going to play that more whether or not I had more invincibility. And I get another set of invincibility. So much money. So much money inside my tummy. So yummy. So yummy. I never saw, seen Yo Gabba Gabba fuckers. Possibility of extra hearts. Although what I could really use is a goddamn useful trinket. Motherfucker. Death card, kinda nice I guess, but I don't really need it for anything. Except for maybe to carry it and get an extra reroll on a room. Wow. Fuck this game sometimes. So I guess what I might as well do now, I'll play this a couple more times, maybe get Fly Love and then reroll both the pedestals. Should've chosen left. Should've kept going left with that. Let's say I play this down to like 27 cents. The three-headed man takes quite a while for each play, so I, I don't have much patience for him. Not as much as when I have like two places to play anyways. So let me see, extra bombs. I just need hearts. Or that. Or that. I, I could use that, too. There we go. I'm going to reroll both of those. Um, Just pick up the game kit. I'm happy to have a double reroll pedestal in here. I could actually use the game kit in order to get extra health, but then I'd give up some charges of my D6. It's a tough one. There's there's plenty of health on the map. I'm just going to go with what I have. There's also that that um, golden chest up top, which I will definitely be opening. Because that doesn't that sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a plan to me. Whoa. Why'd you have to go and make sorry. I'll stop right now. Thank you very much. I need somebody with a human touch. Oh god. Uh, it's just all about the pop songs right now. Mr. Boom is pretty much the crappiest of the crap, but I'd rather re-roll the double re-roll. Re-roll the B-roll. If you know what I had G-roll. Whoa! So, um, I've gone through every single item. I'm not even sure why I picked that up. It does nothing. All I know is that I have gone through every single boss room item possible. And that I probably shouldn't have. Or I probably should have picked up all those health upgrades when I had the chance. Oh well, undefined it is. It does nothing. Nothing at all. Fortunately, they, um, the eyes cannot block my shots and I cannot rebound them around, which is always the most annoying part of this fight. Instead, I can just do lots of damage all the time. Look at all this damage I'm doing. Look how tall my daughter is. My son's a ghost. Um, get away from me. I want you to get away. There we go. Easy enough. I got one bomb from that fight. Uh, one more room and I can just use the death card for it. And then I get a reroll. Did I actually go to that self-sacrifice room? Looks like I didn't. It definitely looks like I didn't. Kill that room. Go for the double reroll. Come on, double. Well, come on, double. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. You're looking swell, double. Okay, so I get one of those and a tarot card. The tarot card is the world, unfortunately. And no more rerolls. I could find the secret room. I found the secret room. 
Mm. This floor could have gone a lot better, especially with what I currently have and the rerolls I could have had and everything, but you know, sometimes shit just goes all kinds of wrong, and this is one of those runs. I, I, I had a lot of advantages, I threw them away, and it was entirely my fault. I probably could have turned this into a winning run. I, I just didn't. I'll get a free spirit heart here. An extra key, which will definitely make up for the golden chest I'm going to open up there, just in order to try to try to leverage every advantage I could possibly have. If I could, I would replay certain rooms. Fortunately, I have lots of hearts, so I can still play the blood bank. Like four hearts there, another heart there, just tons of ton, tons and tons of whole hearts. But the backtrack to the goddamn arcade is so long. It's just so cold in the D. How the fuck we supposed to keep peace? I ask you this. And there's, as far as I can tell, no way for me to get another reroll. No, no way at all. Unless there happens to be a boss in the secret room, which I don't think can happen. Man, this is definitely taking a lot of plays before it pays out. Okay, I finally got it. And it was a blood bag, so I do get some extra health. Um, at this point, I probably would pick up Guppy's paw. Uh, but for no other reason than it would take me more of the way to being Guppy. And I have a fast fire rate, so... And decent damage, so I'd be doing decent damage without a fast fire rate with Guppy. Hmm. If I could... If I could, then I would. I'd go wherever something would go. Okay, so I, I get to fight Krampus here. Which means that there is a possibility... No, I don't have any teleport cards. If I could leave the mum fight... If I could leave the mum fight, then I could get a teleport card. Or then I could actually have one more reroll and try for something better than what I have. I can't believe I actually took damage there. Hmm. I'm just really trying to leverage one more reroll out of this floor, but I can't think of a way to do it, and I'm pretty sure there is none. Lump of Coal is really good. I have decent range, so it's definitely going to be doing extra damage over time. That's a bombs are key pill, if I remember properly. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do. I, I guess I should probably go and see what's in that second chest. I have had it before that both the chests in the in the um, self-sacrifice room had things in it that were like... One was a deal with the devil item, the other was a trip to the deal with the devil, so... Might as well go and check. Might as well. And it's Troll Bomb. Lovely. Excuse me. Um, anyways... As this is this is rough on this is rough on my nerves. I know this could be such a good run, but it's being such a bad run. At least I have piercing shots. Piercing shots are really good, but I don't really have much else. I haven't bombed my way into the secret room yet. Might as well try for that. Um, bomb this because fuck you, game. Pick up two bombs and eleven cents, so at least it paid for itself. Actually, that was a much better than average secret room, all things considered. Is usually, I'd say that on the average they pay it with like six or seven cents. I'd say that the fish head is better than Eve's bird foot. I might as well take the high priestess card with me. There's always a very, very minuscule chance that I somehow pick up a pick up a tarot card from this fight. I'm pretty sure Mom can spawn special enemies that drop items, and then I could get a tarot card or a pill that happens to be a telepill. There, there's a chance. It's not a good chance, but it does exist. Whoa, come on. Come on, Mom. Calm your tits. Meat Boy Wannabe, I somehow got Eve's bird. Eve, um, like the dead bird there. I'm not exactly sure how that trinket works, but apparently it does, so that's good at least. Another undefined, because, you know, undefined does nothing. And I will give up Birdfoot and go down to the next floor, I guess. What happens if I re-roll undefined? I don't even know. I just went through too many items. Too many items for me. Walked right into that. Somehow only took half a heart of damage though, so I guess that's alright. 
did, did I pick up the um, relic at some point and not, or not the relic, um, the wafer? Clearly not, because I took a whole heart of damage there. Fortunately, I'm just in the womb part one. Judgment card, I will definitely use. I have 44 cents and a reroll, so no better time. Monstro's tooth, flying piece of shit. The poop, also a flying piece of shit, but at least now I have something with which to fo on which to focus my efforts and hopefully get something good going. I only take two or three hits to kill each of these guys, which is definitely not bad. The, the only unfortunate part of my run is the total amount of health I have, which is pretty much nada. Zip, zilch, nothing. I just killed both those guys before they got anywhere too dangerous for me. Come, come on. Come on, brain. Pinky and the brain, the pinky and the brain. Fuck off and die, are you insane? That really doesn't sound like the original song much. It's all right, though. Doesn't have to. Come on. Whoa. Almost took damage. The Dinkas can be really annoying just because of how tanky they are and their ability to kind of just teleport all around and hang out in J. Smith Town. Come on, reroll. Well, come on, reroll. Spider Butt is not the very worst item in the game. It's kind of like a minor Necronomicon with additional um, slowing effects. Making it kind of bad, to be honest with you, but I've never been one to complain about minor slowing effects. Actually, I would give anything for a freezing effect at this moment, because that would actually make it possible that I could win with three health. Despite everything else. Despite all else, I could win with three health. I'm trying to rhyme with all my time and my mimes. Took a damage there. Fortunately, champions don't do two damage. That'd be real bullshit, wouldn't it? Finally managed to kill a couple of them. A couple of hundred of them. A couple of what of them? A couple of hundred of them. Yeah. Let's um, kill this last fucking cyst. And then I'll fight the boss in order to get a reroll. I can always get other rerolls after. Fuck you, bloat! Oh, God. It just had to be goddamn bloat, didn't it? And it went after the only thing it could have gone after to not stomp directly on bloat. Wow. Just keep standing there and putting out creep, please. If you do that, I could possibly get out of this without dying. If you do what you just did, however, I'm probably gonna die. I'm like a bird, I'm gonna die today. <laughs> you get another undefined. Because fuck my life. Oh, there were better uses for the, for the nine lives. Oh well. Shit happens. I was kind of expecting more blood banks, more deals with the devil, more anything. Less Monster Manuel. You know how it is sometimes with, with the horrible items and stuff. What's this? Range upgrade. Well, thank fucking Christ for that shit. Uh, range upgrade. Get the hell through here. Try not to get hit by all these bullets. I got hit by all those bullets. I see no reason not to spend two keys on this. The half heart does nothing for me. Oh, whatever. Picked it up anyways. This may actually be where I die. No! There was a heart on screen! Fuck. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This really long, monotonous episode with at least one thing learned. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.